beautiful darlings, it's another Monday. And another day to play a brand new game on today's episode of Mostly Walkin', where we're beginning Firmament. Firmament. Yes. Firmament. The, Firmament. Next, uh, the recently released game Firmament. from Cyan Worlds with the developers of Mist and Riven, but more on that in a moment. I'm Sean Plot. And I'm Lee Grainer. And I'm I Sean Bouchard. Are you showing the... I'm seeing the Mostly Walking logo. That might be on me. Oh, oh no, yeah. no, I got it. Yeah. Never mind. Okay, continue. We can yeah. keep going. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we're going to give a, a a bit of a history about this game. Uh, but for those of you just yeah. joining us, we recently finished the excavation of Hobbs Barrow, which had a hype ass ending, and also had a kind of synth on the menu screen, which we can also hear. Wow. <laughs> I actually think that this is something that everyone's catching up to. Fans of Chris Clark know that the best indicator of future sound is a grainy synth. So I'm really happy to get the gritty, grainy, grimy, and other G words as well. Synth. (laughs) A gritty, grimy, grainer synth. Uh, Now, before we begin, Lee wanted me to ask her, what Mm -hmm. is a gelatin? Okay, 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 okay. So this is actually like a theory that uh, has helped in a lot of parts of my life, and I think it might help in yours too. So, uh, okay. (laughs) So basically a gelatin, it's spelled like skeleton, but with a G instead of an SK. (laughs) It's, it's, this is the skeleton of a, it's the skeleton of something. So, so for instance, our show our show we know how it goes right like we know the format that's the gelatin and then it's a skeleton but then it's it's called a gelatin because it's flexible so (laughs) once you have the gelatin of the experience the complete gelatin yeah then you have somewhere to improvise oh my god within the space yeah no this 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 sounds like um uh, was it one of you that was talking about this The, the theory that at small organizations everyone is so clearly responsible for something. Like for instance, if there's one person whose job it is to make the art and they just don't that week, nothing changes on the art front. So everyone is intimately familiar with like, oh my gosh, if I don't do it, it doesn't happen. But the larger an organization gets, the more layers of abstraction there, there becomes. And as a result, you wind up with people in positions of power that are somewhere deep in the recesses, kind of like in the oyster of the organization, right? That like deep in there, there's a designer somewhere saying, well, rather than make a design skeleton, we preferred to make a design gelatin. So that way we all understand that this is a non-committal structure that allows us to iterate in such a way that we can deliver proper, uh, you know, progress towards yes. delivering a quality product. You know, so, I, I, yes. gelatin is one so, of those words. It's, it's a large so orb gel- So gelatin is, is amazing theory because you will find it everywhere, okay? So there's like like jazz music has chords, chord changes, that are improvised over. So the chords are the gelatin. Um, Any event you're going to, if you're planning to go to an event and you find that you have very high anxiety about it, it is probably because you do not have a complete gelatin of the event. You don't have a complete gelatin? You don't know. It means you don't know what to expect. Ah, you, you, you... What? You don't it's so. A, oh, right. Yeah. Okay. And and you're the the premise is that the thing that you want to know what to expect does not have to be exactly correct, right? There's it's like flexibility. The shape of, yeah, it's like the shape in of that. The space. If 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 some of the bones of that were to change all of a sudden, that wouldn't throw you off, right? because you have this larger holistic gelatin of the whole thing and that's what you need to feel comfortable. Yes, you need a complete front to or end to end flexible structure. Yeah. Right, right, right. In right, which right, to right. play and with which to play and then you will not feel stressed. So like in a literal sense like an octopus has like a gelatin. Like it's got a it's got a uh, structure to it. it. So I think the structure of an octopus's like actual bone structure is actually just the beak, right? Because I've heard that an octopus right. can squeeze through anything bigger than its beak. Yeah, right. Yeah, but, but but I would say that the, re- the remaining non-skeletal beak part of the octopus is the gelatin. I think this is the right place to be going to start the day for sure. I, yeah, because like, is... I mean it's true. Like, do we have to talk if... about the dig? 
the gelatin, the, ge <laughs> the gelatin of a jellyfish or an octopus. Yeah. The gelatin of, a, of an octopus is that it's got a head and eight arms, yep. right? Yep. Uh, yep. And that's not always true. I mean, that's not like that. Maybe that's that is always true. true, but it, it's not always shaped like that. I might encounter it inside of a small container or squeezing through a hole. And then it would not be recognizable to me as like yeah. the thing, but that is the shape of it. It is still that shape. Like I still know what shape to expect it to be. Yes. And then, and then also when you are planning shit, you might realize that you only want to plan a gelatin of it because you want to leave right, the rest. Right to be, now, you know, improvisable. Now, I think that the the best way to sort of conclude the conversations of gelatin is yeah. if Lee, uh, between now and next week, if you could provide an illustration of, you know, the puzzle in the dig <laughs> where there's the skeleton and you like see the, the piece of the skeleton. Uh, yeah, oh, them, oh do the, I know that puzzle, Sean? Know that puzzle? Do I know that you know one? That puzzle? Vaguely, yeah, you know, you know I may have one? heard of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want I want the gelatin version of that where you just have like oh you're just shit. picking okay. up pieces of, of ooze just like falling through your fingers you're trying to set it into an overarching shape that's flexible enough to change into whatever shape it needs to be later on like that that's that is our that's gonna go in back have you have you guys seen the um the video that somebody did of playing Tetris with soft body physics yeah yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like that's what I'm thinking. Like let's do the turtle puzzle, but with that. Yeah. Oh, that's it. That's it. You know what? <laughs> oh, okay. I really can't wait for Meta to give up on this nonsense quest for the metaverse to stop talking about AI yeah. and to get straight into soft body physics embodiment. Because I want my body. Yeah. I want this body with its harsh and twisted bone structure replaced with a fully <laughs> gelatinous body that can just like you know and i'm just like kind of yeah. kind of slinking around all day because because that's that would make watching tv easier so with that with are, that are said you, yeah i uh, okay. uh sean uh since we talked about gelatins is, is there any other um uh, and remember this was presented as a thought structure to help people in their right 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 right, right evaluating right, right. Yeah. things um what is your favorite thought structure that you'd like to share with the class oh, today. Oh, what is my favorite thought structure? Yeah. I think it's um I think it's the the sort of like fractal thing that you get in uh PowerPoint presentations and board game instructions where like the first slide is here's what all the slides are going to be. And then the second slide oh. is like here's what the first third of the slides are going to be. And then the third slide Shit. is here's the first third of the slides. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. Yeah. Fuck yeah, man. I love that. That's the eleven sentence paragraph structure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, sentence mm -hmm. one is your thesis that says what your points are. Sentence two is point A, and then supporting sentence one and two. And then there's point B, mm -hmm. supporting sentence one and two. Supporting point C, points one and two, and a concluding sentence. Boom. Eleven there sentence paragraphs. Organize wow. my mind. Oh yeah. And for, oh, me, amazing. for me, I like color coding. All right, today we're going to hop coding. right into <laughs> Firmament, which uh, yep. for any of you who are as hyped as I am about Cyan World games, we've played four of their games on here. They were the developers, no, excuse me, five. They were the developers of the original best-selling game of all time, Myst. Yeah. Myst. That has been remastered several times. We played it. And the thing that is kind of interesting about like playing so many games over the last 15 years is that I really felt, I really feel like some of the hits that you go back and revisit, like Link to the Past, 1991's Link to the yeah. Past, you go, Ooh. oh shit, people were just really good at design. That's what happened. It's not like, oh, this was yeah. good for its time. It's like, no, this shit slaps. Uh, and Mist and Riven both had that quality where it yeah. wasn't merely yeah. that they were mm -hmm. interesting puzzle games. They were interesting visual Treats, space was interesting to wander around in. The audio design was unbelievable. The audio designer of um, those games went on to do some of the audio for Dota, which has slick, sick audio design. Um, and it all just played really well together. The mystery of the world, the mystery of the puzzles, the visuals, the sounds, it was really coherent. Um, and of course they, they branched out into experiments like Uru, which was supposed to be a mist plus an MMO, which, Though that game, we, we played that game and it was just kind of like hard to control because there's like third person 
platforming in motion, and then you stop and zoom in and try to solve a puzzle. I played Abduction, which has actually grown on me since we played it, which also, again, had really striking visuals and, you know, gadgety puzzles, and now we're going to play Firm Event. And that's about what I know about this game. Hey, get out of the way. I'm ready to... I'm ready to abduct the fuck out of this firmament here. Uh, oh yeah, I'm Ooh. ready to some firmamenting. Uh, now, I will note that- I just firmamented in my throat, I think. But don't, don't worry about it though, let's just keep going. Keep going. Now, Wait, <laughs> you were, did you did you curse me, Sean? Huh? I think <laughs> you've you been cursed. What I mean, let's just say that like, tonight's definitely like a stomach acid night, right? Mm. Like, yeah. All right, so we are Ugh. loading in. It's like the body zone grapefruit juice. Oof. And uh, the thing is that anytime there's 3D games that we stream here, just with the streaming setup, because again, my computer still needs to be replaced. It's like seven years old. We might drop yeah. some frames. Let me know if it happens. Oh, look at that fucking like oh. like copper. Damn. Oh, love it. Your first breath, and I have taken my last. Well, that's that's, that's an recording. evocative starting line. But yeah. yeah. Ooh, look how ghosty. I'm dead, but you have so much to learn. I once woke up just as you have. A blank oh, mind shit. and a clean canvas. All right. If you, yes, but I will teach you. Just as I was taught. And so, first lesson, you are a keeper. Do not I let the ball go into the goal. We're all <laughs> Second lesson. I will lie to you. I learned much later that this is the way to keep the rounds. And third lesson, this machine is your adjunct, your tool to learn and to keep the rounds. Oh, Take oh, we got shaders. We, we got shaders, here we go. Mm. Secret 42 is an ad. Oh, oh shit. It right. is. Hold on, this is the most sensitive mouse. Turn it down, turn it down. Oh yeah, well, you know what? Ugh. Oh my God, look, look, it, it computes it over time, not in real time, all right. Right, so oh, amazing. We got some tweening on that number. That we are number tween. here. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, bye. Left click. Oh, I'm a pit boy. I'm Mega Man. Does this Mist game have a reload animation? Hey, look. Oh, shit. Look at this. Hey, You're look. Born it... in a boiler. Oh, heck yeah. It's the title screen is in there. Yeah, no, look. It's right there. Look, for Mammoth. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> All right, now I also have to adjust the field of view so I don't get sick because I am super yeah. sensitive to this. Display. Uh, Wait, no, it's graphics. Uh, Okay, hold on. Look at this. Motion blur and lens flare off. That's how you know these are actual game developers. Yay. I'm first going to try to increase the field of view. And, but I, I suspect that I will need to decrease the field of view. All right. Hey, that actually helps a bit. Personal maintenance adjunct. Wow, you're really just leaning right over that table, aren't you? Rather than picking up the tiny book. <laughs> All right, next page. Oh my god, Fuck dude, yeah. it, it, dude, it's it a goddamn is goddamn instruction manual. It is an instruction manual, and we got some readers who are here <clears throat> among us. Uh, Sean Bouchard, would you please do us the honors? <clears throat> Introduction. As a newly awakened keeper of the Firmament mission, you have been assigned a personal maintenance adjunct, which can be informally referred to as an adjunct. The adjunct is a miracle of modern mechanics and electronics, augmenting the keeper's abilities in marvelous ways. Your task while keeping would normally require keys, tools, and extreme strength to both access and control what? various aspects of the realms. The adjunct serves as both a key and a tool and amplifies your abilities. It can access approved no. areas of the realms 
and it can control the equipment and devices, both large and small, that you will use regularly. Great. Oh my god, is this how you read your instruction manuals? Because for me, from now on, it's how I this will. Is, I'm gonna this, start is, doing that uh, this is... This is performance of um, like workplace uh, instructional videos, right? Oh, like, yes, you're you're, oh, you're okay, like okay, a, okay, you're okay. like a dry like cave that. Johnson. <laughs> there we go. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I like that. Sock here. I'll right, do sockets, I'll keep... Lee, and okay, then you want to do operation. Sockets. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your adjunct is designed to interface with a socket. <laughs> Does this mean that we're going to be fisting the puzzles? I'm ready. A receiving component which the adjunct can attach to giving the keeper access and control. These sockets are ubiquitous <laughs> in the realms, and although they may appear physically similar to each other, they provide vastly diverse abilities. An adjunct can be propelled to a socket both close and far, providing control oh. wherever you are. A communication uh, leash or tether provides you constant control and feedback while your adjunct is socketed. <laughs> Operation. Cool. To Give operate the adjunct, first place the adjunct gauntlet on your hand. You can then direct. Wait. Oh. Just, just talk over the loudspeaker, please. I insist. Yeah. Oh, I thought we had. I thought that was a Discord sound. Okay, okay. <laughs> you can then direct and propel the forward element at the desired socket. With the forward element firmly socketed, you can activate and control the equipment. The specific aspects of the equipment are viewed by the keeper through a view veil on the gauntlet. Oh. Twisting the gauntlet left or right will activate the specific controls available. Oh, that got really um, sort of airplane uh, yeah, uh, no, uh -huh. seatbelt. Some sockets and equipment have more than a single method of operation. You can switch to these additional modes to control them as well. Uh, is this a, in, a bad instruction manual for the Ultra Hand? Is that what's happening here? I think it's a... Yeah. I, uh, augmentations. Starting adjuncts have only basic abilities, but as keepers advance in their training, the adjunct can be augmented with additional capabilities. These augmentations will pr be provided in the arch as part of the advancement ceremony. Hell yeah. Amplified force, oh. distance extension, concatenated socketing. Oh, I, I'm into concatenated socketing. Yeah, no, because <laughs> amplified force, that, that yeah. iconography made sense. Distance extension, that iconography made sense. But but this one, I was like, ah, yes, the ping pong socketing, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> just, that totally makes sense to me. Ah, display. The adjunct will supply a display when socketed with specific information about the functionality of the socket. The upgrade status is also available at any time <laughs> on this display. Sorry, I thought the sentence was going to end, so I ended it. Isn't it? That... <laughs> yes, no, yeah, yeah. I it I'm I think the display is the view veil and so it's weird to me that it doesn't say anything about the view veil. Yeah. View yeah, veil. yeah it, it, it's like elbow news like you're gonna hear view veil a lot later. Here it comes, <laughs> you're gonna fucking see it. It's italicized, it's italicized. So, somebody said that somebody in the in the chat said that this was also on VR. So like that makes oh, a lot of sense. Are we gonna be uh, are we gonna be like clicking to move because we can't you know anyway, please continue. Or oh. just because it's the cyan game. No, Lee, please, yeah. you continue. Conclude us strong. Conclusion. Please respect your assigned adjunct. Use it cautiously so as not to harm yourself or others. Future augmentations may provide for additional abilities. Your mentor can answer any other questions you may have. Your Keep dead the ghost mentor. <laughs> for all. Uh, bean pill bean. Yeah. Alright. Dude, okay. Like this is we're gonna do this a little bit because I, I will throw it's a video game. really, yeah. really quickly. <laughs> this is so I'm actually gonna go this to is the game. five. This is go. the game. This is the game right here. Yeah, is there a magic field of view number that works for you with all games or is it kinda generally like right, right around ninety. Yeah. Uh Place is cool. You know, so far, yeah, so far I think the firmament is looking looking good. What do you think? I think we're keeping it pretty well. Dude, I'm 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 a keeper. Yeah, I'm a keeper. I, You're a keeper. We're all keepers. Keeper. That's what I'm, our mommies tell us. Yep. All right, and shift is run because this game is made by civilized people. Hell yeah. And we already saw crates too. 
I know, crazy. What? what? Extremely early. So, 85 was a step in the right direction. I'm going to go a little lower to 80 and see if this is the sweet spot. There is a chance that this game may not be compatible with Sean's sockets. <laughs> It's okay. I'm ready for my ping pong receptor. Okay, hold down the left mouse button to aim the adjunct. That's a doorknob. Oh huh. shit! Oh fuck yeah, dude! All right, tap disengage adjunct. Uh, adjust socket. Whoa! Fuck yeah! Oh, uh, that is pretty rad. E for open. What the fuck? This is also oh. extremely Bioshock. I th I bet that in VR you just twist your hand. Yes, I'm sure yeah, that's for that one. And that's with cool. a Nintendo Power Glove, you have to flex just your pinky. <laughs> All right. That's right. Yeah, wasn't it the Power Glove? Like you have to give the give it the finger to like jump. Yeah, I mean like you have to like. So you if, have to like. Yeah. Yeah, in the Nintendo Power Glove. Each individual motion of the finger, like manipulate a different button. So, so you, this is like A, and this was like <laughs> forward, and this was left. Like it was really weird. So they just took a bunch of bend sensors and were like, "Let's try to get anything out of these." Yep. 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 It is absolutely. We are, we are we are a hard eighty field of view gamer. Now I know there's some Quake players who are watching. They're like, "Why isn't it at one hundred and sixty? But like, this is about all I can handle. Focus. We need to focus. Yeah, we, we need a. Yeah, you know, in nature, in nature, uh, animals of prey they they see from the front. They aren't. You know, who has one eighty degrees or like like really high field of view is deer and That's other right. prey animals. That's right. Do you think about that, Quake players? Think about that, Quake players. <laughs> That's Whoa. fucking rad, dude. Oh, uh, if I... I could do that in real life, I would do it some of the time. That is sick. I like the socket system. This is really yeah. cool. Oh, you know what? I'm going to adjust this one more time. This is not why anyone's here, and I understand that. I'm going to try to go back to 90 because I like being able to literally oh see Oh, my more. God. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. I know. I'm sure you're sick of me at this point. All right. Get in No, there. it's not that. It's it's that I don't want you to... I just don't want you to get too close to the sun there, Icarus. Oh, fuck yeah. Whoa. Now that is some firmament. It's beautiful. This must be the firmament. The majesty and peace of the ice and stone. Welcome to the North Pole. Mm -hmm. As you did. I walk at this one. Wait. My first journey oh, okay. to this realm. Oh. I remember it like it was yesterday. This is awesome. Is there an invisible wall? Nice. Nice. My stream quality is down a little bit, so it's there's a slight element of like mission control at NASA to this for yeah. me. Yeah, no, yeah. It's, it should be prioritizing the stream viewers experience. So. I agree. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I do, I do, I do get a little bit of that yep. vertigo, or like my my legs like start to tingle when I look. You get that? I I have yeah, always I get that too. The thing is, I get that even in two D games. Is it's just me? I don't know if we've talked about this before, but like uh, the vertigo feeling in your stomach and like I think I lower like lower abdomen. You have small I get yeah, that in two D games like and then in platform as well. And your hearing. Um, Maybe only the alarms. Oh. Or your own heartbeat. Now, these effects will cease in time. Yes, as your body will. becomes accustomed to the heat. We all have these problems when we emerge from the threshold. You sure. Live. You know, you can't just give something a capital letter and pretend it's normal. Well, you, uh, you can. Especially in young adult fiction. In fact, that's most of what I, you yeah. will do. Yeah. Uh, oh, God, man. I, if... Hmm... I don't think there's any way for me to find it. I, I wrote a... Uh, when I was young and fancied mm -hmm. myself an aspiring writer, mm -hmm. uh, I would write sort of like story synopses rather than actual oh. stories. 
um, because that's oh, way easier. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, and there was one of them that was every third word was a capital letter. It was just like the oh. most ridiculously bad <laughs> young adult uh, like supernatural fiction. Like I yeah. I had whole I bits that were too. like you know. Playing non-capitalized words off of capitalized words. It was just oh. it was awful. It was god awful. That's great. Is it not? I feel like a performer. But this is where we are. This is basically what it's like when I visit Montreal. She taught me all these words. Oh wait, what? teach you but then stop oh. till now arrived also and well he first taught me beyond and listen to what she has to say frames. yeah i will teach you that as also well. there are some frames dropping in game uh that's what is that's what it's saying mm. Okay, so it Back says it's blocked. My frame dropped. It was a good thing. So huh. if I do this, it's blocked. Now, if you'll note in the bottom left, I can tap to disengage, but I can hold left click to adjust. Yeah. What's that mean? Oh, you're just you're going left and right. No, no. It looked like you were turning. With the mouse, no. With the mouse, are you turn? Yeah. With the mouse, now you are turning the thing. Oh. Oh, it's like, yeah, it's like you're turning your hand with the VR setup. Yeah. So as an alternative to using sort of... Q&E or whatever. Um, yeah. Uh, how far can you stretch that tether? Let's find out. Like, like moving, if you oh. move back, how far away can you... No? So... In virtual reality, in the so, metaverse, we will all throw our hands. Are you ready to throw hands, Sean? <laughs> I... Listen, that is a more compelling case for the metaverse than any that has been presented to me so far. Okay. Well, and wanna, that's even wanna, just an adaptation. I want to give a shout-out to Wickfos and Andy Perfect that both hit 100 months in a row this fine day. Happy 100 Damn. months in a row. Throw your hands up, everyone, with your adjunct. Literally throw it into the socket at your ceiling. Yeah. So um, I don't know what I'm doing here. Keeping. You're keeping. Oh. Oh, ladders? <laughs> he just walked in like... <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't. I, I'm sorry. Just it was... got right up into that. All right, let's let's see if this worked. Are we back? That's the question. Huh? Ah, uh, we are back. All right. Well, I want to let Look you know. I want to let you know. Uh, everything was great on our end. Twitch started hard rejecting my connection. Um. Just hard, like really hard. No, it did. It said that it said that you do not have permission to stream. <laughs> That's what it was saying oh, to me. It was saying we, we fully reject this. You need to make sure that your stream key is correct. 
So I just looked and it was the exact same stream key. So I just didn't change anything and hit go live. And it's like, oh yeah, you're live. All right, so <laughs> let me let me let me pop back down this ladder of when you're gonna want to see this. All right. Our task is our purpose. All right, so all is praxis. All right, so let's let's count ourselves in. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. All right, everyone, welcome back. We got ejected from Twitch. Oh, there is everyone is. We got rejected from Twitch. Uh, I don't know what happened. Uh, our internet was working good. Everything was working good. But for some reason, the Twitch connection dropped and wouldn't let me connect for a few minutes. So if you're watching on YouTube, know that on Twitch, it was dramatic. And the drama <laughs> all ended with this ladder. So we were having trouble figuring out how to operate this mechanism. Uh, oh, 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 oh. And there's just a ladder here, and we left click to climb it. <laughs> and what I found really interesting is that, like, when third, uh, third person 3D games, first person 3D games started to become more popular, there was very little agreement on exactly how to control things. Because, yeah, one of the benefits of you click to activate something is that it gives the developers full control over things. So in this game, that's mostly about puzzles. I just think it's a strength to not be able to let me like just walk off there's no jump i can press space bar it doesn't let me do it I, and i think it's there's a huge benefit to having the sort of like interaction points for puzzles be really discreet yeah so here oh. we are. why does that ladder look so good yeah, I mean, this game is looking good. The knurling. As as chat has been pointing out. Is there a... Huh. And one time I had some weights, and uh, the knurling was actually too sharp. <laughs> what's what's the knurling? What's knurling? What's, what's a knurling? I don't it's understand the, uh, that. It's that texture on it, that the grip texture. Oh, that's like, like, like K-N-U-R-L oh. knurled? Yeah. So I assume. So it's over there. It's just real hard to see. Oh, look at that! Look at that adjunct. How far does it go? As far End as is a line. It. Full send. Siberia, Sean. Full send. We'll eventually get there. <laughs> Okay, how do you think we get across this side, though? I think we have to lift ourselves with the lifty machine. Oh, wait, 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 look. It says drive. Tab. Okay. <gasps> Are you gonna... Are you oh, serious? Oh, shit. Fuck, yes. Are you gonna win a prize? Are you the prize? Is there a... Is there a rotate function? Uh. Just drive and lift. Okay. Just give us an ultra hand already. All right. Okay. All right. Now gently squeeze your rib cage in there. So do you think I should? I can get on the top here. I, I think. You, well, I don't know if you can or not, but I think you should lower it down to that position and see. What? Oh, what do you mean lower I think down? As that position an adventure and see? game. Uh, I, I think, um, it is, it's right over where the bridge is, huh? So here, let's try think, lowering, uh, try, in an try raising game, the bridge and then dropping the claw. I don't think we're it. enough yeah. of a, yeah, we're not enough of a Jedi to like jump onto the back of a claw. Yeah, no, that, that definitely seems outside of our pay grade. That's outside of our genre. We don't even have Which, a jump by button. the way, I, I keep mentioning this to people. The word genre is French for gender, which is incredible. Yeah. So, like, film noir? That's a gender. That's a gender, yeah. my friend. Can I shoot it from maybe over here? Right? 
Okay. I Don't did like up. that idea of looking up for a socket. That was that would have been a neat solution. Well, I just looked around and found a ladder, so don't mind me. I'm just still self-conscious. Okay, so... Gacked. And you want me to just lower it on this? I think. Let's see what happens. Let me scoot over just a little bit. Oh, you're going to pick that thing up, huh? Whoop. Where, where'd it go? It it's lowers. Auto it automatically lowers. <clears throat> if the crane gets Wait. too close, it's like, no, nah, not doing this. Oh, so raise the crane all the way up. Then will the bridge come all the way up? No. Because it's like not afraid of the crane anymore? Well, we could try it, but... I'm gonna do also, it. side note, um, gosh, I miss stereoscopic because for me, stereoscopic allows me to see how far away things are. Mm. Um, Sean, I have another Great. thing to try. Yeah. Which is when you go down to to raise the bridge, are there is there a second functionality on that interface? Let's let's take a gander. Oh, I think I just realized something. So the crane started it's close not. to us, right? If I just by the law of game design, it feels like what we need to do to solve this puzzle is probably put the crane in the farthest, most extreme state. So like put the crane as far away from us as we can. And that's probably where the solution lies, right? I mean, that... Uh, we... Okay. We I... did it to one extreme. We're literally... We can try the can other put extreme. It, can you put it all the way to the, that extreme that we went to already and then walk over there? Like, uh, walk to where the crane is now. Mm. All right, I'm... Oh, wait, I'm sorry. No, could you... Can you send the crane... Oh, God, how do I describe this? Um, can you send the crane to our left? You know what? I'm going to send it as far as we can this way. I'm going to see what happens. That's, opposite. That's the opposite of what I want. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm so sorry. But I'm going to go all well, the way. Well, I mean, really, time. my theory. I'll be happy with whatever as long as my theory of send it all the way uh, yeah. bears fruit. We are early enough in the game, like we're still in a tutorial phase, where uh, it totally makes sense for the solution to the to the puzzle to be send it to the extreme. Like, e right? Like, yeah, exactly right. Because I noticed that if we send it all the way in the direction we're sending right now, you can no. then walk around and go rendezvous with it, it yourself. Rendezvous with it. See? Look at that. You, that looks like. Perfectly oh crane sized. Oh my god. Yeah, interesting. Are we gonna pick ourselves up here? Oh wait. Oh, oh damn you oh, what monoscopic the fuck? vision. Holy oh, shit! It's, oh! Oh! It's picking up a box! Holy <laughs> fuck! Ice. That's what cranes are designed to do. Dude, holy shit! Oh, oh it's snow. You're building an igloo, Sean. Hey, Sean. Yeah. I have a, 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 a fun fact. Guess what I'm you ready. Use I love to, fun. Guess what you use to stick together the bricks to make an igloo. What? Igloo. Igloo. Wait, it's... it's Glue. Igloo. Oh. <laughs> Fuck me. I'm telling you, I'm having a tough time. So wait, do wait. we now? Yeah, okay, you, so now I want a like I want a drop command. Does that exist? It seems like that doesn't exist. Drop was removed because what? it was too dangerous. Oh my god! Look at the elevation. What, what look, are we look, doing? Look, look, look in the diagram in the bottom right. You can see the elevation of where. Oh, oh that's shit! Beautiful. That's lovely. So fascinating. So now, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Let me see something. I'm going to go down, because I think that what we're going to do now... Holy shit, we're going to solve one puzzle today. This is fucking sick. We're, like, so good. It is, yeah. So, I think that I raise this, oh, fuck, and then I yes. walk and from push the side. It, push, like... I think that I, I go out, and then... Oh, and then around. Yeah. See, the, the collision box on it raising the bridge... Hmm. Okay, let's try it. Oh. 
Remember that you don't have a jump. It, this is a wild job for them to not train you on. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'll, I'll give you uh, <laughs> hints, but I'm not going to hold your hand. <laughs> The only way you're gonna oh, learn to use the, uh, some heavy machinery. the loader, yeah. <laughs> the only way you're gonna learn to use this uh, hydraulic digger is if you really <laughs> suss it out yourself. You got to make a couple mistakes if you want to learn to use the um, the forklift. Okay, so like, can't believe we just didn't see if there were blocks of ice there. Do you think I should make use lo multiple blocks of ice? I don't think there's a way to do that, though. No, I, here's what I think. I think you should move the crane back so that it's directly in front of the bridge um, and possibly raise it up just a little bit and then, and then raise the bridge while the crane with the block of ice is right there and see if that sort of, like, creates a continuous walkway. Okay, so let me... So you think that I should raise it? So drive... Yeah, so raise it there. That's that's too much. Probably that, yeah. And then drive it forward. Oh, it didn't... It's a, Oh, yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Oh, okay. shit. Whoa. Yeah, leave it there, and then let's go raise the bridge. All right. You know, right. as a as a viewer slash uh, host slash co-host, whatever the fuck, slash panel comic on this show, it is incredibly difficult to follow mm. some logic of some... What the so fuck? So this makes me feel like this is... We're on the right track because all of that stuff doesn't have collision on it. <laughs> huh. All right, here we go. Yeah, we already got our head inside of some geometry. Yeah. Time to clip one hour. What did I just do in my hair? So, like... <laughs> Aww. <laughs> What? Okay, what if what if we take this block of ice and we drive it all the way forward to the other end of the thing? That, and then, I love like, that idea. Drop it there or something. From one end of the extreme to the other end of the extremes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye-bye! <laughs> Bye-bye! Oh, damn. It, go it goes a long way. All right, everyone, say hi. It's coming back. Hi. Hi. Round two. Fight. I mean, this literally looks like I'm supposed to be able to walk on it. It does. It really does. Okay, maybe, but, maybe but, it's but, but not the right height. Maybe that's it. I mean, yeah. if you think about this Trying in real life, right though, if you climbed on that in real life, wouldn't you then just think, fuck. What the fuck have I done? What am I doing? <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? Um. Okay, I need. I'm gonna need ideas from both of you. I am in a leadership position on this broadcast, and I have no idea what I'm doing. Go, fuck. help me out here. Um, as uh, I was saying, it's very hard for me to cognate exactly what the shit I'm looking at. So this is like a half bridge, and now there's an ice block. The block of ice. Oh, chisel it. Like chisel the ladder. ice, Sean. As though it were a ladder, just climb it. That looks like it's presenting the ice to you for... You only you start with one stamina wheel, so you should be able to get over that. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, does that flag mean anything? Go back, go back to the entrance, and there's a flag with like an Elden oh, yeah. Ring on it. Yeah, Is no, that that's anything. <laughs> Foul taunt. If you know, when Elden Ring came out and they saw that banner, they were like, "Fuck." <laughs> also, there's a halo kind of coming in there from the top of the screen. Uh, okay, um, so I feel like okay. we're on to something. Uh, uh, we haven't. We haven't tried lowering the block of ice to the ground anywhere. 
which is a thing that we could try. I also, I want to try one more time, like, can we get this level with the bridge? Yeah. We test. <laughs> Dave Johnson. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Can you, wait, I think it's a little <gasps> Oh, too that's far. gorgeous. Yes, do that. It's a little too far, right? Oh, I, yeah. Is I that think a little it's, fucking I think it's path? Be lower. That's a little, it's a little fucking path. A little That's a little high. fucking path. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw that path like an hour ago. Oh shit! I I was like, vehemently. <laughs> See, this is why oh, I wish I could wear it. Beautiful. Well. Holy shit, Mama fucking Mia! Dude, you know, you know that if there's an achievement to have solved the first puzzle, sixteen percent of Steam users solved that shit. You know yep, it. That achievement. Chivo. Ah, ah, it's a hidden path. Secret tunnel. <laughs> Fuck the, yes. That big bad ice yeah. ball. Hell oh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> big Fuck. bad bedroom ball. Oh, and I left this fucking side down, didn't I? I am just trash. Alright. Fuck yeah. Let Drop the bridge, Sean. Here. Drop the bridge. Hell yes! Yes! Look at that! Drop a ladder. Blinds. Drop a ladder. Fuck yeah! Dude, that ladder was dropped. so fucking satisfying, man. That was, that was sick. sick. That was great. That was really good. That was really good. That is that oh, is the first a... good introductory puzzle that has existed in a puzzle game in history. And this is... It actually has narrative meaning because, like, it... It was a puzzle because the fucking bridge was broke. Yeah. Well, Otherwise, it wouldn't be there as a puzzle. It did sort of seem like the bridge was designed like that. Although, but but the the, the, the far side it's of the bridge was broken. The arches. I mean, it was. It it just had a control so on the other side. No, but the, the control on the other side was was broken on the ground. <laughs> it was. We used it. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it it worked, but it was. A skew and out of. Oh, I, I see. I think it was just designed to be operated by two people, and Is this we're the, the only person there. All right. I mean, I'm gonna go in there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Lost my frames. Right yeah. There. Oh, dude, that's fucking evocative. Hmm. Um, I. Is am I thinking of Goldeneye? Is that the movie that I'm thinking of? Yeah, you probably are. I haven't seen it, but this looks a lot like the first level of Goldeneye. The video N64. game? Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's that's probably what I'm thinking of. I'm going up there. Oh my god, I keep forgetting that the PC gaming show broadcasted on this Sunday. Oh. Because Gallagher says, oh my goodness, is that the legendary day jobs? Uh, because, um, let me see if I can actually open up this this image. Let's see if I can. No, I actually can't work. How can I? Shit, I'll have to share that image later. But um, uh, the, the shtick for the PC gaming show is that I am an AI tech bro that doesn't understand AI at all, but thinks it will replace everyone on the PC gaming show set. So there in the show, go. I fired everyone and replaced my co-host Frankie with Frank AI. So <laughs> that's really and, and everything's just going wrong. That's the entire thing. But uh, but in the show, they got me this perfect Steve Jobs outfit. Oh, like nice. I had the black turtleneck and the light colored, slightly baggy jeans with the tennis shoes and like the round glasses. And I just said dumb shit for like two hours. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. Yeah, let me let me actually see if I can. Um, I'm actually going to open up an image on my phone and hold my phone to the screen. Where is this fucking image? <laughs> Perfect. Of yourself. That's the best way to do it. Oh, yeah. This is this is, this is going to be good because it's on a green screen. Holy shit, that doesn't work in the fucking slightest. <laughs> Wait, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, it it's works fucking, even better it, that it's, way. It's, it's fucking Jesus. so funny, man. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh man, I just looked at the time cube. That was 
Oh yeah, it's it's some good shit. Yeah, so it was a really fun show. And so people have been calling me Day Jobs. And I keep forgetting that. Yeah, so you, you can see a little better. There's the enormous green screen yeah, studio that we were in. Go. There we go. That's that's the actual there color. Go. There's the spitting image. Alright, anyways. New emote for Day Jobs just dropped. Ooh, that's a good one. I'm gonna ask Eric to put that one in there. <laughs> All right, so up here, it doesn't look like there's anything notable. I mean, we have one of these little ice manipulators here. Icy manipulators? Oh, man. Also, they're, like, when when you're hosting something and you're doing gags, just don't don't get on Twitter. Because, like, literally 100% of people tweeting me had the word cringe in it. <laughs> like, if I, if I filtered the word cringe, it would have been <laughs> silent on my Twitter feed. I think it's cringe so just good. means really, 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 really good, doesn't it? Well, cringe, it, it's its a word that has been used to the point where it no longer has any meaning at all. If you have a reaction, cringe is the safest thing that you can say. It's the safest. Like, I like that. Dangerous. Because what if someone else doesn't like it? But if you go, ah, mm. cringe. Rarely does anyone want to go, Le no, cringe. I think that isn't cringe at all. I disagree with you. I didn't mm. cringe. It's 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 literally difficult to say that isn't cringe. Like that isn't cringe. That the the phrase for that thought is uh, is cringe. It's just difficult to put into words. Yeah. Cringe. But the thing is that you have to understand. <laughs> I'm immune to cringe. I yeah, I, I have been forged power. in the fires of the internet. I yeah. I have read comments where people try to be funny. I have watched amateur stand-up. Oh, no, don't do that. I am, I am immune <laughs> no, to cringe. Oh, amateur stand-up. Open. Yep. Prange. Cinnamon toast cringe. <laughs> All right, I'm going I'm going in my in my, my ball. All right, uh, do we want to go to the destination enter? Energize? A pissoir. It's a pissoir. Holy shit, I can energize. Energize? Are you, you going to beam up? I hope so. You will not be able to leave this to wander out the other rooms. Oh shit, but you are! Oh shit! Technically, you will be killed and a clone of you will be created <laughs> with your memories. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, if you're wondering, there are no graphical issues happening on my end at all. If you're seeing those lines, that's something on your monitor. Yeah, that's your problem. <laughs> that's, um, that's on you. Hey, Swanky. Oh, Whoa. shit. Welcome this is it's bigger this on the inside. This is what the inside of my pasta yeah. looks like. <laughs> Same. Wait, Learned. what? Oh, your pasta. <laughs> laughed. Shared. My memories of this place. Who's we? So... Vivid, so wonderful, so peaceful. All right, this. Till it was shattered. The lies are controlling, but comforting. Oh, is this the same fucking manual? Ooh, that's nice. Same book. Oh. Wow. Why? Who's we? Moons, what happened? I want to know. Stars. I want to know what happened. <laughs> I first the great so conjunction. <laughs> yeah, dude, this is this is some dark crystal shit, man. This is so good. It, it is, is wild. Wait, why is that one moving on its own? That looks like a puzzle. Why is that one moving by itself? Moons, stars. Cringe, like Agra. <laughs> <laughs> so I assume that this is the hub world. <laughs> yes, it does. Cringe like beings, are we? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we we got we got uh, this is to Julston. Uh huh. Okay. This is to Curie Vale. Well, these are all just Bart stops. 
St. Andrew. Oh, okay. Oh, shit, there's a bunch of these fucking places. Are we gonna, uh, 100% all of them? Yeah, I'm hoping so. Here, Here is where the monsters are stored in the cabin in the woods. Shit. Is there, uh... Is there a Last of Us style guitar sequence? If we, is there a socket on that guitar? <laughs> can I, can I adjunct it? Can I adjunct at a distance and play the guitar by using Q and E, and then hitting Tab to go to the next, <laughs> the next individual string on there? Firmament. Oh, wait a minute. Firmament. Firmament's the word for like the sky. So like that's why. Uh, does oh Jesus. It's the word for the Earth, isn't it? Uh, no, I think it's sky. And I think that's... So then in the middle there was like that big starry sky. I'm surprised that I'm not seeing Necrosis Thanatos here. Wait, she put them all to sleep. Is that the big sleep or just sleep sleep? Like the medium sleep? Oh, god damn it. Are we going to have to mix primary colors again? <laughs> Learned of that say. Seems like a atonalization when the wounds of the seas are so fresh. I recently learned of that word. Dude. Can but I? Indeed, that is fucking I'm gorgeous. Yes. Wounds. Do not mix the emotions. I have all on that. Yeah, like. I got. I gotta say, this this is like the difference between art fidelity and art direction. Like, mm. I remember there was this game Godfall that I played and gave just a ghastly review of. And like in Godfall, it had lots of really high quality individual pieces of art in a lot of ways, but its arrangement was not super evocative. Like this is really evocative. Yeah, like, this like is so cool. The decision of like the curvature of the ceiling yeah. and like the the sort of like um, almost solar system esque sigils and these little wobbly things, and then like all these lights that are punctured through, they're turning on yeah. and off. It's I awesome. Mean, it's fucking rad. I also love how from day one, Cyan has just been like, "We're gonna go full copper and full brass, yeah. nonstop. Fucking you in or out." <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, we we came out of Curve Vale or whatever it is. Uh, shall we go to Jewelston in Green or shall we go over here to St. Andrew? You mean Red? Hmm? Let's go to St. Andrew. Andrew's green. Let's go. Yeah, we're right here. I like here a, nice, anyway. uh, nice, a nice English firmament. Oh, what are these called? They're not called worlds. Uh, realms? Realms, yeah, no, no. I, I'm, I'm surprised that they... Oh! Can oh, you... it's got a little preview. You can't change it, okay. Okay. And it's got multiple vaults. St. Andrew has multiple vaults, maybe. Also, um, this is fucking sick, uh, uh for reasons I forgot. Oh, uh, no, wait. That's right. I was thinking um, the term ages in mist is actually so sick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I... So some of the stuff that I really like about this is that it's very subtle, but I think it makes, like, a world of difference of the game isn't instructing me to do anything. It's just kind of like broadly letting me do stuff. I think the only instruction was like, here's how you manipulate things. You know, you yeah. just you click on it. And then outside of that, the game didn't yell at us like, Captain, I think those cranes might be helpful to get those ice blocks down there. Like, you know. Oh God. Yeah. It just it just let us suffer. Yeah, I, I feel like most games these days are just like they're like that crane might be helpful. And then, like, five seconds later, it's like, maybe that crane could pick up an ice block. Yeah, oh my god. 
And like the fact what that when we got into this centralized area, when we got into this centralized Ooh. area, it just like didn't ask us to do anything. But there's that loudspeaker again, yeah. though. Cool. Um, hey, I'm lonely. Yeah, that's some, those are some good-looking fucking clouds, man. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This is like primo cyan. Jesus. Oh. What? Actually, fuck, I want to play this shit in VR now. Yeah, shit. Uh, track damage replacement required. All right. I can't tell. Are, are is this? Can't tell what this is. Yeah. Uh. Okay. So it's like one. The columns are numbers. The rows, or the the rows are numbers. Oh, oh I sorry, see. Wait. The columns are numbers. The rows are letters. I don't but know it's... if it's top down or. Yeah. Okay, it's a track uh, crane, so it's a two dimensional system. Yeah. It's like the the uh, beginning of Portal Two. Yeah. Look at all that helium or whatever. <laughs> Look at all those chickens. This almost seems so puzzly, but such is life and learning, problems and solutions. I think I have. Solve this problem. <laughs> huh. The weird thing is that, like, we've all worked with somebody who is exactly like she is when she's teaching you how to open. Okay, so we are, we're now attached to this fucking thing. What? Oh, shit. Because you got close enough to it, and it was like... Yeah. Yeah, it could smell your right adjunct. Here. That's why it tipped over. It was here in the sealed box I first met Turner. Oh, here we go. He came to observe. Alright. I'd heard these stories by then. Oh. I wish you could remember. Huh. Oh, so we have like a past with her, but we've been I wiped. I think we did, but but that sort of suggests that we do, yeah. So, I didn't um, realize this was I'm, discreet, so I'm just going here. I'm also running into the game problem of like, well, and part of it is because I'm I'm watching on a, I'm watching on a stream here, but I'm running into the game problem of the environment art is gorgeous and beautiful, but I'm tuning it out because I'm only looking for puzzle related content you know what I mean mm. that is like the video game problem well mm. sorry, the, so uh, Sean I'm just gonna say I think from here you can probably lower oh oh, oh. oh. What? it yeah. was sideways oh shit it was sideways so what's in these vaults? Man. What's in the vaults and why? So if I look here, nice. Sick. So there's one here and here and here. I see another one that's open there. So let's use the proper terms, huh? So it looks like 1A, 2B, and 2C are open. And we have 3B and 4A. So... God damn it, generalities. Generalities says the vaults don't contain anything. They're just called that because they have <laughs> vaulted ceilings. <laughs> oh, so, wait, that quip reminded me of something. Did okay. you see that there is a Monkey Island uh, content coming out for Sea of Thieves? Yeah, like a whole that's, so that's really so sick. Really? That's cool. 
And it has all these voice actors that are the same voice actors from our game. Oh, it was really, that's neat. Really cool. I love that. And at the same time, at the same time, there was some <laughs> stuff in there that like. Oh. I, don't, I just I don't I don't know. Oh. What? Yeah, no, I heard the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Alarm! Alarm! There is no emergency. Alarm! Wait, Did he just say we have no needs? That's what he said. We have no needs. So he's just like very people pleasing. Yeah. So we oh, have no boundaries. This? Is there a thing you can couple to this side, maybe? It's one floor down. So I think I see there, there's this path on this far other side, if we go through these areas, that kind of causes these little... Um, it's a two-sided puzzle. Loop the linky lose. So Wait, okay, okay, hold on. Why... So, so do all these fucking vaults just lead to the same place? Yep. <laughs> I don't... Why are there so many... It's just doors. They're just... It's so, a room with, like, 12 doors. Well, I think, I think the game is trying to tell us that, like, this... This big diagonal thing, this is where we want to go. And we're on floor two, so this looks like um, uh -huh. 4A that we need to get to. So thank if goodness I, they we have to go from two doors. to A. Okay. So, like, like, thank goodness they made all those doors because those plants grew in there. So now, see, I think we need to get up to. Or is there Let's a jump three? It. Oh, yeah, no, we need to get to 4A right there. So the way that we're going to do that is this. So first we, we need to run all the way around. Go, 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 okay. So you'll see that we have another little, uh, a little thing here that we can attach ourselves to. So let's go ahead and do that. So here's this turkey. The only thing I wish this game had so far is a um, grappling hook. I wish you could just grapple your hook. Also, I wish that you were Samus. Also, I wish that there was monsters and Metroids. <laughs> Actually, holy shit, that'd be such a fucking good game. Oh my god. Like a new Metroid Prime, except instead of being like Metroid Prime completely, it's like also like a missed game. Actually, is that a good idea? I don't know. Dude, Metroid Prime, I remember playing recently... I was even streaming it, and I was just like, this game is fucking better than other games. That's, like, what's going on here. I, I You know what it. I haven't done is play it. I haven't played it. I want to play it. It's fucking good, because the thing is that, the, like... So, I started making this point, and then got distracted, which is kind of par for the course here. Um, sure. During the era where there started to be third-person camera controls, first-person camera controls, no one really had an agreement about what was the right way to move around. You had lots yep. of games where W and uh, or like you know forward and back would move your character forward and back, but then left would rotate your character left or rotate your character right. Um, yep. I remember yep. we we played um, Normality, where holding the left mouse button moved you forward, and then you use the right. mouse to change yes. your angle. So that way you could, you yes. could do movement with with just one <laughs> hand. You could use this hand for gesturing. Um, or like in this game where there is no jumping and there's a lot of interacting via clicking, this helps make sure that you still get third or first person perspective to look around, but your interaction with the environment is fully controlled and essentially like um, you're just in interacting with the um, topology of the space, not the topography of the space. He said, making everyone Google. Um, but um, fuck, what was I going to say? There was something I was going to say. Shit, fuck, oh yeah. Uh, and in when Metroid Prime came out, which I think was 2003, this is still during the era where the idea of like dual thumbstick controls were kind of getting explored. I feel like the GameCube is the perfect example of like half exploration of this. And in that game, to shoot something, you simply held the uh, trigger button and it instantly locked on so there was no aim. You just locked on to things and then you hit the fire button. It was amazing. Mm. So when I played it, I'm generally not the best aimer and shooter. I'm not really an FPS player, but it was incredibly snappy and responsive. Just be like, that's awesome. That's awesome, sir. So, 
Up here is where we want to go vaguely. You can see that there's increased areas up here. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to decouple this. We're going to... Oops. We're going to go over to here. We wake. We're going to forward. We're going to raise we this. We work. We work. So over there is 4A that we can get to. So what we're going to do is we're going to couple these. Careful. But I can also Careful. see that there's like more areas up here to get to. So I'm kind of curious. Oh, yep. And then we need to move this back. Bang. We right. knew about the arrival. Not that the capital A arrival. <laughs> Channel, so how did we know that Arrival was capitalized, but not Cycle? Oh, I'm just downstairs. All right. So I think that... You know, yeah. I need to figure out where we're trying to go, because I thought I was trying to get to this top area. So I'm going to start opening these. Because here is where there is one of these things that I can attach that to. But I don't know why we would necessarily want to do that. So I think we need to figure out where the heck we're trying to go. Because there's also this little walkie path over here. Which goes to this other end of the extreme. We've got some tree branches growing in. Cool, cool. Open up. And this is where we started. Just admiring, admiring, admiring. It's so pretty I'm gonna, pretty. I'm going to see if we need to go all the way up. Like, you know, one of the options is that we, we need more access to train cars. So we're going to be just like gobbling up train cars one by one. Return back to our little train in Spain. This kind of sucks, doesn't it, actually? What do you mean? I don't know, doesn't it? Because all I want to do is, like, I just want to explore this realm and, like, literally we're just, like, in the doorway for, like, half an hour. Well, I don't actually It's know like what... if it was, like, the coolest mansion in the world, except the puzzle was, like, a vestibule puzzle. Vestibular. Oh, do... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, th I think, I think I see what the problem is. So this won't raise anymore. And if we go back... <laughs> we go Mookie back. said, yeah, but what a doorway. I mean, it's yeah, dude. fair. I just... I just don't... It's weird. We're, like, going in and out of doors. We're, like, going... We're, like, how many... We're just doing all the doors in the attempt to just go through a door, right? Well, I don't really... I, it's a puzzle game. Like, I, I it's... I don't... <sighs> Yeah, it just feels like this puzzle takes place between two areas that I am interested in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, I cannot wait until we get inside that building. Okay. And you know what was cool also is the outside. But, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit over the 12, <laughs> the, the 12 exactly equal doorways. Hmm. So here, let me let me see if I can understand what the puzzle is. Because I feel Those like I'm still in the... God, yes. Good girders, good plants. Not as much copper and brass here. Not as much. I'm not going to lie. They're eye beams with seraphs. So. So let me let me see here. So I think God that what's it. happening. Aha. Aha. So I'm going to go over. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. So see, th this this thing we can't get over to. So, here's what, what I think we're trying to do. Um, oops, I hit the wrong button. Wait a minute, so, how does... Oh, sorry. 
Go ahead. So if you look, you can actually see that there's like some stuff over here. So if I go to horizontal drive and I go forward, I think we're actually trying to get over. We were trying to get over there. See that thing that's right in the center of my screen? I think we're trying to get over to there. Did that door, that open door. Yeah, so I think that what we need to do is figure out a way to... Let me actually just... I'm going to Can we go? this. Hmm. I'm just going to do this to, to show where I believe we're at. Nope, can't do that at all. I think that what I need to do... Sean, yeah. can you stand on the other side of it and reach the... Yeah. Can you uncouple it from the other side? No, no, no. Uh, right here. Stand... Yeah, there. Nope. Standing here, so it no, won't let me... No, it doesn't like you. Okay. But this is... Un I'm going to uncouple this, because I think that this will let me illustrate what I believe is the puzzle. I believe we need to get over to there. Okay. And so what we need to do is we need to figure out a way to get onto a platform that is on that side. And then when it's on that side, we can stand on that side and use the engine to kind of draw us this way. Hmm. Here, let and me... you, we can't go far enough to come up on the platform that we just uncoupled from on the other side. Yeah, let me let me illustrate in MS Paint because it's easier to explain this way. So here, here it's is... always it's easier to explain everything in MS Paint. So here's the engine, and here's like the extra little connector here and here. So here here's yeah. us. Um, and so I think that what is going to happen is that we have the, these like sort of. Oops, let me change this to black. Change this here. Watch this. This is going to be really impressive. So there's these sort of like, here's these different columns. So here is um, one, two, three. I guess in our version, this is two, three, four. But I also think that there's an area zero over here. So we need to kind of go in and around and back and figure out a way to attach something here so that we can take this whole apparatus and swing it like this. And then here, here's where we actually want to be. This is what I think we're mm -hmm. doing. This, mm -hmm. this is what I believe that we are doing here. Make sense? Se seem good? <laughs> it's uh, yeah, really? Sure. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So what we're going to do is then we're going to shoot here. We're going to... And so these things are, I guess, little obstacles for us. So if I go to vertical obstacles. and I lower here... And then... I'm not here to win. I'm here to make friends. <laughs> Do I want that one? So how to... But now... Aha! Okay, I see. I see what we're doing. I disconnected that one. Now I what really I want to do... Want a, I want a lore explanation for why this whole thing exists. I don't have that. That is the system. It does seem like this sort of whole rack system is unnecessarily complex, and the sixteen doors that all lead into the same antechamber is yeah. I'm not. Oh, wait, sure. whoa, whoa, hold on. Wait, could you stop for a second and just look yeah. at the walls in there? Yeah. Go in the vault and look at the walls. Oh. That's that's what's in the vaults. A uh, little storage. Mm. What's in the storage? I see. So they all of the vaults lead into the same destination, but they all have little like lock boxes in them. They are so much more than simple doorways. They also have uh, PO boxes. Yeah. So that's where you keep your stuff. And the cool thing is that you can go to your P.O. box on the way home. Yeah, you just have to dial this arcane machine into the right <laughs> XY location. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So then if I... 
go to fucking fuck. Because here, here's the problem, is that we're trying to get this up one more level. But we can't, because I made a... Made a four stopper. Made a four, four connector. So... <laughs> see, th this thing is in the way of me going up. So I need to figure out a way mm. to... Can you oh, I decouple see. that one I see from here? So what I need oh, to do okay. is I need to leave one of these behind by... Can I go forward like this? Can I, like, drive it reverse like this? Nice. So here, here's a little secret. So... Now, so I've done step one of the puzzle, which is I've connected both sides of the engine. Yes. That's the first thing we needed to do. So now what Correct. we're gonna do is we run this way. Now we're gonna disconnect one of the sides. I think I need no? a second one. No, with our powers here. combined. I, I want to disconnect one of the sides, but this, I need to first open. Because... Oh. You can just open it from here, right? Yeah. Uh, but the thing is that this is where the engine is, so I can't actually get onto this. Well, unless I can. But just can shoot. you reach over and disconnect the side from here? Nice. Didn't think about that at all. That's fucking. That's the solution right there. Nice. Really good. Fuck yeah. Wouldn't. Wouldn't. That's have why you got the big stretchy arm. When the voice comes on and just says like everything's cool, we have everything, we need nothing. It reminds me of when in the BART they like play the thing that's like, alert, all elevators are working. Do they do that? Yes. I was making they a joke do. about that, but like that loudspeaker announcement is terrifying. Yeah. Yeah, the BART elevator thing. Uh, Sorry, I just yeah. think for I mean, a second. It's very important to know when the elevators are and are not working, but what is funny is that they do tell you when they're all working, and then I always imagine it, you know, I imagine a bunch of people in BART Mission Control, like, standing up and clapping and throwing their headsets <laughs> in happiness, like, we did it. We fucking got there. So I can't actually I just, see the I feel like that, the announcement we're hearing in this game, we have all that is required, or whatever it is, is like... Yeah. That's scary ass shit. Like that is. If they, you, you know, if it was true, they wouldn't have to say it, Sean. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're everything going to... is fine. <laughs> everything is one hundred percent groovy. The stream is fine. So what we're gonna do is we're going to hit this. I'm going to raise it. So what I need to do now is I need to figure out a way to disconnect that one from over there. Okay. So, I don't know where this leads to, but we're going to do a little exploratory. Ooh, let's do some exploratory. <laughs> Boltjammer. Boltjammer says, alert! The loudspeaker system is working. I see. So then we actually have this other one over here. So the, these, these two connect to each other. Man, this is actually a really what? good puzzle. <laughs> Why would you not build walkways between these? It's the craziest thing. <laughs> Total Deutsch move. Total Deutsch move. <laughs> so, yeah. however, if I <laughs> this puzzle enter into here and I oh no, not oh, raise. Oh. I want to go to fuck. Forward. Can you go forward? Yeah. Yep, yep, that's the and one. And then can you go up? I no? I can. Don't need to. Doing just something different. <coughs> up is definitely blocked. Okay. Oh, these that two are fucking wild. connected. I'm... Oh, wait, but no, we can, we can use the patented Sean Bloom undoey trick to... Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, the not Bloom fucking, algorithm. Not do anything. Fucking fuck. The, Bush fuck. the Bouchard Cause algorithm. Because it, it's angled in such a way that you just can't do that. Yeah. It's almost like it was designed that way, fuckers. Intelligently. These fuckers. But, okay, wait, 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 wait. Uh, 
Security uh, security via slightly inconvenient angles is what that is. <laughs> yep. Um We are the keepers. So oh, fuck. they are hey. the keepers. We are the keepers. Wait, wait, wait. So I I'm actually gonna lower this. Let's go ahead and lower. Here we go. I'd say we take this baby to negative one, negative one, and get a segmentation fault going. What do you think? Uh oh. <laughs> so here's a question. Can I get from way up high an angle on my thingy? So I can get a Mr. Stretch Arms angle oh, on this. Oh, I see what you're doing. Uh, you're now up, but... you're thinking with adjudicators. Adjudicators. What adjudicators. is it? Adjudicators. Uh, it sucks. You're too far that, away. Like, is that what it is? You, have like, to you can do it, but you're too far away? What? We can you have go to feed yourself down. every five hours. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. If but... you decided to stop, if you were like, I don't want to eat or drink or poop or pee anymore, you couldn't last like a day. Ah. Uh... I think there must be part of our brain that, like, stops us from worrying about how that's actually sort of cosmically terrifying. What's, uh, what's cosmically terrifying? The fact that, like, went... if you were like, I don't want to poop or pee or eat or drink today, like, you wouldn't be able to do it. I don't... Yeah. Oh, that's... shit. Huh. I don't know that I find that cosmically terrifying. Well... Wow. If I'm not in the mood to that poop, you can't just be I don't. Cube. I just don't. I just don't. I'm like, I'm just, done. I'm out. You've, you've mastered your nature. Yeah, listen. I don't... The only thing I believe in is nurture. Can this... Can this be used to disconnect? <laughs> I, like, is... <laughs> there's something... There's something cosmically terrifying to me, Lee, about the idea that if I don't drink water for three days, then I'll die. Yeah. And like three days is not a lot of time. Yeah, uh, that is and weird. Water is something that is not that is like in our society right now as it functions where I live is pervasive, but is not like you know it's it's not trivially pervasive. It's not. Yeah. It's very non-trivial. It's non-trivial exactly. Uh, that is terrifying. I find that terrifying. The idea actually, that I can't decide yeah. not to breathe anymore is not terrifying to me like oh, okay i'm okay with ha like not getting to just decide that it's pretty wild how fast though you can't like like i guess i would it would mm. make more sense to me if we were more like whales where it's like yeah we have to breathe every day you know yes we have to breathe every the, two yes. days but it's like for us it's like seconds yeah like that's yeah. that's wild I do agree with that. That is, it is, that is crazy to me. That like, yeah. we and need so that many kind of it. maintenance. We need that kind of upkeep. I need to breathe like, like every few seconds, or otherwise, yeah, I'm toast. I'm toasted. It's wild. Okay, yeah, so. it's just so bizarre. So what I did is I connected everything, so that way yeah. we had like trailer, trailer, engine, trailer. So now I'm here. And I decoupled on the other side, so now we just have these two turkeys. Okay. Uh, see, look at this. Hey, look at that. Which then lets us go up one more. Hey -oh. Love it. And uh, again, we're trying to go up to this and get that. Oh, yeah, we can just do that, can't we? Yeah, can't we? Yeah, let's just raise nothing, it up. Nothing blocking us anymore. Anyway, I only bring all this stuff up because I wish this was the kind of thoughts that were playing on the loudspeaker while we did this puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking it's what the kind fuck? Of, it's kind of fucked up that we have to breathe, isn't it? <laughs> what oh, the man. hell? There's no controls on it. Wait, look down. It says you have to... Guys, remember that we have to fix the broken bridge, right? The track's broken. It said oh, so. In okay. The well, this track. Is but why out. is there why is there a socket there that has no controls on it? Because 
because the track's broken. Mm. The socket was was doing great, and the track broke. I think. Actually, I'm not sure. I haven't been paying a lot of attention. <laughs> we are the keepers. Okay, I we get have it. everything we require. We have everything. We're doing a really good job. Trust me. We are the keepers. That would be a pretty cool, cool thing to have in your workplace. Just something that told you, like, that I just waste sort of who you were, what your job was. What, I guess what company you worked for. <laughs> we are the keepers. <laughs> what the fuck? Alert! This is the University of Southern California. <laughs> we are the. Ouch! <laughs> so weird. Yeah. Alert. You are <laughs> home. A creepy evil voice too. <laughs> like <laughs> Wait, I, I don't understand yeah, what I'm supposed any, to do. Any basic fact is suddenly called into question when it's played on that kind of a system. <laughs> Alert. <laughs> Wait, I, I don't understand what we need to do. Is um, because I thought we were trying to get to here, but I can literally where the see. track is broken. Okay, but why? Why did oh, you think that was our destination? Because it's orange. Because it's orange. Okay, it's well orange. that's fair. That was it. Like that's literally you know it. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, hey, stop. Stop it. You're just knocking things over. Here, let me... Sounds like a cat. Yeah. It's okay. She's she's going to say hello in a second. This is going to be really exciting. First, I have to put some energy into the cat. But she's one of those she's one of those hand crank cats where you really got to like do some of this. And then you stop and you say her name. Hey, Dispy. Hey, Dispy. All right, we're grabbing me. We're grabbing me. That's good. Dispy. Hey. Okay. What are you doing? All right, she did not play along. She's just not a performer. All right, now she's a <laughs> performer again. Look who's having the performance. So is there somewhere in here that we need to get to? I don't think so. I didn't, like, see a particular... I mean, this door I can open. All right. So I have a question. Yeah. Uh, there were like a lot of people here, and obviously they were all the keepers. So each person had a socket arm thing. So you're just I everybody so. was. It was just everybody whole... was issued an educator, a, a educator, an educator, an, an ad... adjunct professor, a lecturer. <laughs> um, so so it was a whole sort of one-handed society because everybody had their buster arms on. Like everybody had their hook shot kind of. Is... Uh, does what's, that, what's preclude, the grapple does that beam? preclude, like, holding stuff? I don't know, because it's kind of like, um, here, this is your multi-tool, except it's like a Leatherman, except it, you have to fit your entire arm into it at all times. I mean, do you, though? I thought so. I mean, maybe you're right. Like, it, it does... If I think about this as a VR game, then that, that does seem like how it works, probably. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Yeah, no, I think that this is not a well-thought-out society because they can't high-five and they can only hold things that they can hold with one hand because the other hand is there to operate shit. Like, it seems dysfunctional. Couple. They can, they can high-five with their left hands. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm looking at it now, Lee, and there is a buster arm attached to you. Yeah. I... I... Would love to try this in VR because I bet it feels very cool when you're twisting your little wristy twisty. Wait, you can't um, twist your wrist, can you? No, you can just twist your Shit. whole. Oh, there's a fucking Forearm? thing on this side. Your, Wait, your we, whole ulna. Your whole. We fucking, fucking ulna. got up here, and I thought that this is not where we needed to be, so I just didn't go any further. I'm fucking ashamed. This is horrible. Yeah, I didn't want to say anything, Sean, but uh, I was waiting for you to figure that one out. <laughs> and now I have all these fuckers all the way down there. Oh, shit. <laughs> this fucking sucks, you know, man. I'm, I'm legitimately waiting for us to be able to go in there and just explore. 
like that's that is what I'm waiting for. Like, I guess I would oh, be I more engaged if. Oh, you can fix that. I bet. Look at that. We that was like a little fucking. See, yeah. just like that. Now I'm in it. We now are I'm the firmament. I want to see that fucking thing get fixed. Fuck you me. know, now we are the firmament the and we are the keepers. Firmament we are is Monsters the Incorporated. So fucking hell. This this doesn't go any farther forward, huh? Holy shit, I'm gonna I'm gonna rip out my eyes, man. I'm so I'm so upset. This fucking sucks. When there was more than one keeper, do you think they could like put their adjuncts together? Oh, Dude, that's dude. a good question. Like, if is does the because the we don't really get to see the front of the adjunct. Uh, it could like is there a socket on the adjunct? That's what I'm asking. And if if we socketed each other's adjuncts, <laughs> is that like making out? <laughs> I don't know. God, I don't know, actually. <laughs> fuck. Okay, this is gonna be a little... Oh, fuck. It was set up for us in the first fucking... Oh, fuck. Alright, well, timed it. I Alright, I figured it out. Ever... But the thing is that... Everybody like... just keeps saying it's like Avatar. Anyway, sorry, sorry, go on. What do you figure Dude, out? Uh, okay, so here's the thing. Step one, we need to leave this thing Whoa! disconnected. Because the thing that we originally did is what we need to do. This thing needs to slide all the way over to there and go down. And I just didn't uh -huh. see the operating operating thingy. So what we're going to do here is we're going to click on this. We're going to uncouple this. We're uncouple that. Okay. Move this Sweet. fucker here. Yep. And then go around. Come around from the from the back. Sneak up on Lower this. And all I need to know, Sean, is will my insurance cover it? And what's the out-of-pocket going to be for this? <laughs> <laughs> so sorry I'm like so dialed into trying to figure out how to solve this fucker solve the goddamn puzzle yeah no I'm, I'm all I for gotta it. go pee honestly dude Lee do uh, it and there's nothing I can do about you, it yeah, you, you it. can't you can't just not huh alright so we're gonna go this way we're gonna go this way And then I think that we can disconnect a far one, maybe. Oh, there's nothing fucking... There's nothing here. Oh my god. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Dude, okay, I'm so frustrated because I, I basically solved this, but I didn't see anything in the first way and went, oh, we're not supposed to go there. Then I undid everything. So, fart and fart. That is frustrating. So let me go forward. No. Down. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get... See how I have one platform on the other side of the engine? I need one, not both, but one of these other ones here to join me. So the, these two doors are connected, I believe. So how can I get from the bottom all the way to this side. How do I do this? Because I I sort of deleted from my memory how these things were connected because I thought that I had completed it. Right. Uh, farts. So. Uh, and I deleted it from my memory because I thought you were completing it. Yep, yeah, and I, I did complete it, looked at uh, the solution and went, all right, let's go somewhere else. <laughs> So we're gonna go. So we're going to need to raise this. Because even though this is the level that we don't want to be at, this is where I think things are connected enough for us to do things. <laughs> Horse 420 speed says, would it be faster to do a new game? It might be. <laughs> it I mean, you know, there are a lot of games 
that contain puzzles like this, generally where the puzzles are more um, abstract than this, in the sense that they're less integrated into the world. Yeah. Uh, where they'll have a like reset button. Like I think Nancy Drew games will often have a like, just start this fucker over. I have. Oh yeah. Like I have King's put myself Quest. into a position. Yeah, you just push the button on the back of Bess's head. <laughs> Dude, I will say that is the greatest bug in the history of games. When we just call George and we're right <laughs> in front of George. Yes. I love that. Do we get somewhere? Yeah, I think I need to do one more thing before I can go up, though. I'm hey, literally Sean, resetting you, to the original just, position. Uh, Sean, do, Sean, do you think you could just go in there and just maybe step over the um, handrail off of the path? Wait, sorry, what? It was a joke. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm but sorry. But it might... I'm poking fun at the fact that you can't just walk in there and, like, step over the handrail. Dude, I know. Like, but that's the thing. Is that we, we haven't seen us. All we know is that we have a Mega Man fist. That's it. It's the only thing that we know. That's true. We sure. could just be... We could be another one of those just capsules sliding along the ground. That's right. Okay, so I, I have figured like, it out. Like so many first-person game protagonists. Maybe we we're a tank. A capsule. I, like, yeah, what what if there's just like a large spheroid that we're just on top of and that's just locomoting us around? The Despy is now the host. Okay. Thanks, Despy. You'll do us proud. So now, now I can do this. And watch this, I can do this quickly. Raise. And then we're going to go forward. I, Lee, Dude. I this makes me want. You know, in in like um, kidding, Wreck It Ralph, kidding. there's Shit. the whole like video game villains uh, support group or whatever. Like that that yep. that trope of uh, uh, characters from different games getting together. Yeah. Um, I kind of want something along those lines but it's all characters from first person games and they're all rendered as capsules fuck out. okay God. what the fuck <laughs> smash brothers <laughs> fucking shoot <laughs> put Uncovered. capsule in smash okay watch put this capsule in smash that's it yeah <laughs> do you have feet Sean you don't do you I don't not, think so. Not in real life, not in this game, it, nowhere. Not in a VR game, Lee. You can't do feet in a VR game. You'd throw up. Actually, I did feel nauseated one time when I was in a VR experience and I, like, looked down and there was just nothing. No feet, no legs. Hey! <laughs> that was a sound. Who here is in the mood for... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look. Fuck yeah. I didn't see this. <gasps> what? Even though the thing was like an all red, it was like, please remember to fix track. You are a keeper. Yeah. You got a big old con I literally went here, looked around, went nope, and then just like... Hey, Sean... Was the solution to this puzzle also there's a ladder? Is the, is the solution to every puzzle going to be well, there's I, a ladder? You will recall, I climbed this fucking ladder. Man. Okay. The solution is use the service elevator. Let me see, how many of these... Line segments Denunciator says if this was my first day I'm out of there <laughs> alright you know what sucks is that no matter how hard you try at this the next morning the person's gonna be like whoever closed last night did it wrong 
Oh my god. Yeah, I forgot. I went. I, I worked at a pizzeria when I was in high school. And, like, literally all they wanted to do was bully children. That is, like, what managed really? modus operandi was. Oh. Uh, was, like, everything you did, they would just be like, that's wrong, bro. You're doing it wrong. Ha 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 ha. All right, how do you do it right? And they would just do it the exact same way and then, like, high five each other. Yeah. And they used to, as a really funny prank, uh, they would, um, shut your arm in the oven. What the fuck? Oh, that sounds like a really funny prank. It was what the hilarious. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's a funny one, because then you, uh, you die of not having any arm. Because <laughs> then you're get, you get, you get, you have a pizza arm now. And I think that I want to go. Over you have a pizza arm now. <laughs> you have a pizza arm. Oops, I have so a hard. very special arm for you. Wait, how the fuck did I <laughs> attach this? How, how how did this ever get attached? How the fuck? How the hell did I get that one? What in the hell? This is like when you try to tie a tie again. Try tie. <laughs> I remember. Oh wait. Okay, so I go this way. I'm so sorry. This is just this is just not that interesting, but it's about to be. This is why you train people this, on the job. This is the game. This is the game. This is the game. T I T G. All right, so watch this. We're gonna we're gonna push this one back. My camera's frozen. We're gonna drop this one. Is my camera frozen? Yeah, do that. And then we're going to scoot back. Yeah. And then we're going to go down. Down. Chest so now, nine thousand says my camera's broken, but I don't think my camera's broken. Uh, frozen. let me. Uh, there, there's something I need to do on my end. Watch this. No, your your camera's frozen as shit, dude. Is it? Yeah. How? It looks good on my Discord. Turn it off and turn it on again. All right, but if I do that, I'm gonna break your precious lawyer. Oh, I gotta wa I gotta watch this. Okay, so then we're gonna go over here. Um. I'd also prefer if people don't see my Discord name. Although I guess I can also just change it all the time. Yeah, yeah. That's true. My, my Discord name is, is random. It doesn't correspond to anything. In, in fact, every every few weeks when you message me, I'm like, who the fuck have I talked to that I don't <laughs> yeah. know this much? Well, oh I, my god. Because in the, in the in the DMs, you you see my weird new name, but like in the, I use um the, you know, ten dollar a month or whatever the fuck it is Discord, so that in different um, servers I can set my profile differently. I don't think you need to pay ten dollars a month to do that. I think you can just do that. You have to pay to do that to have a different profile. Altogether, not just a different nickname. Ah. Yes. Okay. Um. Yeah, I used to use different Discord logins for different things, but now I've consolidated it. This is yeah, the kind of exciting is, um, shit you have to do once you become an internet micro celebrity. Oh, installed. Holy Sweet. fucking shit, Sweet. I fucking did it. You did it. I This was it the worst like... articulation of me solving something ever. I was just like, but then we could, and then also, okay, hold on, and got it. Okay, oh, but I geez. also do want to say, like, if the system for repairing the track is that automated, why didn't it just do it? <laughs> Uh, I think it's because labor is cheap. Oh, fuck yeah. Because so far we have not encountered a computer necessarily, have we? 
Um, that's a good point. Well, these, oh. are, these are the tables. Or tea. They keep oh drinking tea. God, the it's nine. It's when we did it become nine? We yeah, it's nine. Oh, sick. I think that puzzle, we just spent like five hours on it. Before and now. My purpose was her home. My soul is okay. Yeah, this oh. is her realm. It's got, it's got big horses in it. So you know, in greenhouse times. All right, we're gonna we're gonna get a really nice view, and we're gonna save the view. Oh. Huh. Gorgeous. I love that Cyan was like, we're gonna make a fucking Art Deco game, and everybody's like, really? After. Bioshock? I thought Bioshock owned that, and they're like, well, we're gonna give them a fucking run for their money, aren't we? <laughs> so, uh, I will say, that was two puzzles, uh, one of which uh, we did a whole bunch of work to get to the solution space, I just didn't see the button, and then I just rewound everything in the entire puzzle back to the start, and then yeah. went, oh, I see, and then fast forwarded it again, and then rewound it, and fast forwarded it, and that's how we did the second puzzle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I will say, thus far, kind of like really like how this game is presenting itself fucking great it's like i super dig I, you know what it is is it's it's taking mist and sort of the legacy of cyan style mechanical puzzle uh embedded in the world games yeah and it's finding a way to standardize the interface to the world uh, the way that, like, point-and-click adventure games standardize the interface uh, into the world. Uh, and uh, I think that's brilliant. Yeah. I think that's really cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, like, I did not see it that way at all. And that's actually, that's the right way to see that. I think that now. Um, like, because... <laughs> I remember when Jonathan Blow was working on The Witness, he described that often you have games that have a mechanic and the world is understood through that mechanic. Like in a first-person shooter, okay. you solve all your problems with aiming and shooting. There's maybe different weapons or different properties to those weapons or enemies that have different weak spots, but it's all about seeing the world through that mechanic. Um, right. And so this is why The Witness um, sought to have the whole notion of like connecting a start and a finish point under certain rules. That way they could just do variations on this and anytime you saw one of those puzzle plates, you knew that it was time to do that specific puzzle. But I have heard <laughs> this um, argument for graphic adventure game design and for just general adventure games that the fun of it is that you have all these different types of puzzles. Like in Myst, there were some contraptions that had to deal with clocks, some of them had to deal with number systems. You have all these different things that are going on. But it's really hard to understand where, when the puzzle ends and begins, when you're in a puzzle, yeah. when you don't have what you need for the puzzle, and so on. And you're right, just literally seeing a glowing dot basically means you go, oh, hey, this, this, this is a puzzle sphere. I just need to plug into it, and now, yeah. now I'm manipulating the environment in some way. And what's nice about yeah. how they've done this is it doesn't have that sort of step out of the world issue that The Witness had, or with The Witness... You would it would zoom into a puzzle and you would just be like you know myopically focused on just the puzzle and then I'd get done. Right. Oh, oh sure is a great view. All right, next puzzle, just just like zoom right into that. Um. Yeah, I think this is like a really clever sort of intermediary. It's almost like you create an in 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 most adventure games. It's like there's you the person and then over here is the puzzle. And it's just created like an API between them where the person plugs into the API and then the API oh. connects to the puzzle. So yeah, you always yeah, have yeah. a you always have a USB port into entering puzzle mode. Then yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. Can turn it a couple. No, times. that's totally. Hey, can I address, cool. address a comment in chat real quick? Yeah. So um, Fitz Battleaxe uh, has a a really sort of like um, insightful comment about the adjunct feeling slick in VR, but at the same time, the fact that it's used for everything kind of hurts immersion. You're in the world, but you never you're never touching the world. 
pulling a lever would make things feel a bit more tangible. And I think yeah. that's a really interesting comment that actually like I I completely disagree with and I and it gets to <laughs> it, it gets to a nerve um. of like what I really dislike about VR at least modern VR which is that it's not tangible. Uh, and I think the idea of a, a, a lot of VR games want to be tangible. And so they put things like levers into the world and every lever in a VR game feels really, really bad to me because I can't touch it. And I actually think that what yeah. this game is doing in VR makes a lot of sense because yes, it is abstracting your connection to the world. It's, it's, creating a layer that that prevents you from narratively touching anything in the world but i think that's a really good thing because vr as a fucking technology prevents you from touching anything in the world so to narratively justify that i think is a plus uh and people yeah. can feel free to disagree with me that is a that there's a lot of like subjective opinion in that but that is a that's an objection that i have to sort of how vr games work in a lot of cases i mean this just honestly brings me back to haptic gloves and the continual question i have of like if you touch a wall with your haptic glove and then you push through it does it just squeeze your hands until your bones are crushed yes it's exactly like that scene in the movie life with jake gyllenhaal what all right, I gotta Google that now. <laughs> but yeah, I agree with everything everybody's saying. Is Jake Gyllenhaal in that movie? Because the last three movies have said to my wife, "Hey, we should watch that movie. It was this and that with Jake Gyllenhaal." Jake Gyllenhaal hasn't been in any of them, so this might be four for four. That's amazing. Uh, we, I really like Jake Gyllenhaal a lot, and I'm pretty bad with uh, names and faces of actors and movies. Uh, yeah, uh, not, Jake not Gyllenhaal was in a movie I... called Life. I don't know it. Oh shit, the streak is broken. I do broken. think Sean. John B, I, I do think it's funny that you're saying exactly what somebody would say who is an aficionado of uh, escape rooms. Yeah, of of actually tangible games. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. here's the thing. I think there needs to be <laughs> the a, a generic VR controller, and the way it works is there's actually just like a <laughs> lever that's an exact size, right? And then there's like a crank that's an exact size. <laughs> <laughs> and you you just sit there and you're playing. Whenever there's a lever, you just like reach out and you just fucking pull that lever. It's just and a like, bop it. <laughs> Sean, you're just describing a bop yeah. it. <laughs> That's exactly right, man. Oh, Wait, Shadow oh, you, Shadowner, did we did, did we come up with that at the same time? Oh yeah. Oh man. <laughs> um, Geekmonger says I do one of think sensory yes, tables as, for toddlers. Yeah, fuck yeah. yeah yes, as yes, Geekmonger 100%. says, tables for toddlers. I do think that sort of baby toy level tangibles oh no like like literally good. imagine yeah, that could be a good thesis project imagine that there was an alien that like hey that it's fine relax imagine that there's like an <laughs> alien that like swallowed some important object and you needed and, and the alien was dead and you need to like reach inside the alien's guts and pull it out and mm -hmm. and someone built <laughs> we gotta call logan <laughs> So, like someone built like, yeah this is logan like, wasn't like this a, one of his fucking like, like a, one week project a, a, yeah gross fleshy tube that you have to stick yeah. your hand in in vr and it's like detecting where it is in vr and it's just like animating it and you're getting in there yeah like that's fucking awesome i mean it, i remember that his one of his projects you had to cut open like an egg sack yeah that's <laughs> <laughs> anime city says the stones are in me <laughs> That would be amazing if in the fifth element, when you had to leave, um, oh, reach into um, Lady Plava Laguna, you just like yeah. jam in there, you pull it out. <laughs> God, I can't believe I remembered the name of the singer who's blue in That's fifth incredible. element. That's incredible, yeah. Plava yeah, Laguna, I think. I'm not 100% sure on that. <laughs> A diva Plava Laguna. Wow, I'm so sick. I'm like so That's fucking amazing. Amazing. I'm pretty tight. So sick. Tight. I'm gonna close the show. Uh, gamers. Yeah, fuck this show. It's this show, done. The show was awesome. This was a great, great Sanded. end to a great, great day. Hip, hip, hooray! Yeah, <laughs> Rihanna hooray. loved Jake and the start Gyllenhaal of a pretty good in the game. fifth element. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this game is starting quite strong, quite great. Hell yes! Yeah. It will take us a hundred years to finish it.
Yeah. Yeah, because we have to get through all the realms. We'll see you in 2035 for the conclusion and the start of the next game that's probably a Wajidai game. See you on, uh, <laughs> not next week, uh, Sean and Lee are both OOT. Traveling. They're both Oot. 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 And, and then boot. uh the week after that, I'm Oot. So oh, shit. that's it. We'll see you all in July. How crazy in the coconut is that? Crazy. Sorry, everybody. I'm so sorry. <laughs> We're Oot. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm fucking sorry, I'm Oot. <laughs>